everybody. Today we're going to be talking about a very popular question and that is should you buy the iPhone XR or the iPhone XS? Which one should you get out of these? So let's talk about that in this video. So to start off, the iPhone XR has a bigger display than the iPhone XS with a 6.1 inch LCD versus a 5.8 inch OLED. So you're losing a little bit on the display by having an LCD with the XR, but I mean, if you don't really, if you're not looking for taking pictures and things like that, then I think an LCD is quite good enough. Now, a big difference here is that the iPhone XR has a lower resolution compared to the iPhone XS and not a fully edge-to-edge -edge display. With the XR, you don't get a display that's edge-to-edge. -edge. It's just a little bit off because of the LCD display, whereas you have a fully edge-to-edge -edge display with your OLED XS. Both of them have True Tone. The iPhone XR has just a one 12 megapixel camera, whereas the iPhone XS has a dual 12 megapixel camera, one wide angle, one telephoto. So it doesn't really make a difference unless you want to make pictures because the single 12 megapixel camera is still a really good camera. With the camera, you still have portrait mode with depth control and smart HDR in your pictures. You still have the bokeh effect, which is adjustable, and you have smart HDR, which combines the pictures to give you one amazing picture. You have the A12 Bionic chip, so you don't lose anything. You still have a very powerful chip, as if you would have the iPhone XS or XS Max. So processor, you're not losing anything. Face ID improvements have been added in both, so you don't lose anything, your face ID is improved. Fast charging has been added to both of them, um, and maybe a 10 watt charger later on, but we don't know that. So one big change is that the iPhone XR is only IP67 water resistant, which means it can be only in one meter of water for 30 minutes, compared to the IP68 on the iPhone XS, which is up to two meters. Now, both of them are 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes option, so you can really choose on all of them. Now, another change is the LTE. On the iPhone XR, you get LTE Advanced, and on the iPhone XS, you get Gigabit LTE. So, there's an improvement with the Gigabit LTE, but I mean, I don't think it's going to be very significant, and I don't know where it's available yet, so I don't know if you'd have a good experience with that at the beginning. They both have Bluetooth 5.0, which is the new Bluetooth, and iPhone XR has haptic touch versus the iPhone XS, which has 3D touch. So haptic touch, I mean, I don't really know the difference. We're gonna see that because I'm planning on getting the iPhone XR. Um, I, I think it's just going to be very similar to the 3D touch, but I don't know what it's gonna be. The iPhone XS has an HDR display, which is a little bit better compared to the XR. Now the battery life. The XR has 1.5 hours more of battery life compared to the iPhone 8 Plus, which is the one I currently own. That's a big improvement. That's, that leads like, yeah, that's <laughs> quite massive for the day. The iPhone XS has only 30 minutes more compared to the iPhone X. I guess if you're looking for more battery life, then get the iPhone XR, but if you're just looking to upgrade your iPhone X, to something that I don't believe is a good option, as I talked about that in the previous video. So really, the iPhone XR is for really the people who don't want to spend a lot of money and want to have many of the features that the iPhone X and XS and XS Max have. But, the, I mean, it's a kind of small minus is that you don't have an edge to edge display, but I guess that can be, I mean, it's not a very big deal. You still have a great display. If you're looking for a bigger phone as well, get the XR or get the XS Max, which is like $1,300, $1,500, which is too much, whereas the iPhone XR with a bigger display at 6.1 inches is at $749 starting. I personally would get the XR right now, but if you have deep pockets, then why not just go all out and get the iPhone XS Max, where you're gonna get a lot of improvements. Anyway, this is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye!